In our next report, we'll show us how the sixth graders really got involved. I'm Angela Grill, and this is Mrs. Houshiar, who teaches sixth grade. What are you studying about? Our class is studying about Mexico, because this is Hispanic Heritage Month. We selected Mexico because Hispanics are the second largest population in the United States. The class already knows that Hispanics, along with Indians, are native to the Southwest. They were born of Indian mothers and Spanish fathers who explored the area long before the British arrived in America. Our practice today will strengthen their communication skills and allow them to share some of their knowledge with others. Why is it important to study Hispanic Heritage Month? It is important to study Hispanic uh, Heritage Month because the United States is a melting pot of many different cultures and languages. It is important that we appreciate and recognize these individual differences uh, and also realize that many of our ancestors of today were here long before the Anglo settlers came. This information is available at the Saginaw Board of Education uh, with Dr. Rio's office or with Dr. Cheney. They have compiled a resource booklet of Hispanic life in the United States. Can you tell us what you've been learning about Hispanic Heritage Month? September 16th is Mexican Independence Day. It represents two Mexico and Mexican Americans. What the 4th of July means to all of you as citizens. On this day, 1810, the beginning of the revolution, which liberated from Mexico to Spain. I've been learning about Father Miguel Hidalgo. Father Miguel Hidalgo Castello started the rebellions against Spain with his famous cry of pain, in which he urged the Mexican people to rise against Spain. I've been learning about National Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated in the recognition of the many contributions made by the Hispanics in the building of our nation as citizens of Mexico, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and many others. I've learned that Mexican Americans are the largest group of Hispanics in the U.S. Also that they represent 62% of the total Hispanic population, which includes the Aztecs and the Mayas. Um, I've been learning what Hispanic means. Hispanic is an umbrella term used to describe a large population of persons who share the same language, religion, or a similar culture. But it is erroneous to think of Hispanics as one single group because they are from many different countries with different histories. I learned that a lot of Hispanics speak Spanish because that is their native language and they practice it in their homes and among friends. But some Hispanics do not speak Spanish, in fact with the exception of large cities where there are large numbers of Hispanics. Hispanics live and work in an environment where English is spoken all or most of the time. I'm Angela Grill reporting for YPR. Don't go away.